Welcome to the Hillbilly Hoarder. Today we'll be looking at a 1958 Chevrolet Corvette project. I believe in 1958 they made just a little over 9,000 of these cars. I bought this car at an estate sale. The previous owner owned this car since 1962. He did a little bit of drag racing with it. It had the tow bar brackets on the front end. I cut them off. It's got this uh, uh, non-original hood with a big bubble in the hood. He's got uh, a line lock installed on the car. Four speed her shifter with a line lock. Pretty nice little car. Car should be silver blue, silver blue interior. I believe this is the original blue top for the car. The whole car needs restored. I mean, the top shot, but the, like I say, the whole car needs restored. It'll make a nice car for somebody. I'll show you the interior. There's the interior on the car. 58 is the only year that they used a pebble green dash. Still has the original dash as far as I can tell. You can see some of the silver blue showing through the uh, the, the brown dye there where they dyed the, dyed the dash pad. There's a hearse shifter with a line lock. I pulled the 57 Chevy out. Engine out, I'm gonna install it on a 57 Corvette. The 57 Corvette has a, uh, a 63 340 horse engine in it, and I'll pull it out and put the 57 Chevy engine in there. And uh, I'll show you that on a later video, the engine swap. 58 gauges are a little bit different than the 59 to 62. 58 the low horsepower uh, cars they uh, had a rev uh, counter in the tack this was a solid lifter engine it, there was no rev counter in the tack got a high red line 58 had a two piece door panel the upper portion of the door panel was a piece of metal covered with the vinyl In 58, they did, uh, did not have a package tray, like uh, 59 to 62 had a little package tray that attached to this part here. Some, when the car was painted brown, somebody redid the interior brown, got the gold piping in the seats. It's been done a long time ago. Like I say, the pre previous owner owned it since 1962. I bought the car not running. I got the little uh, 57 283 running. Uh, I pulled it out. This thing had an, an all-state battery in it, which just goes back a long time ago, an all-state battery. I'll show you the trunk of the car, get back around this side. here there's a trunk somebody painted this up in here look like a brush painted this but you can see some of the original silver blue paint under all this the 58 has got a little piece of fiberglass that goes in each corner of the trunk it covers the well back here and uh, kind of looks like it's cobbed up with that piece of fiberglass but that's factory kind of nice to find them with that yet 58 rear bumper brackets a little bit different like I say the whole car needs restored it'll make somebody a nice car I believe there's one thing you want to when you go to look at one of these old vets check the vent tag out good uh, now in these early cars 
uh, the vent tag was held in place just with two Phillips head screws. You can see nobody's ever messed with that vent tag. Uh, I believe in 1960 they started spot welding the vent tag to the steering column on the engine uh, compartment side. I think that started in 1960 though. I'll show you this little Toyota FJ40 I picked up. It's a project car also. I hope to maybe show you, try to get this thing running on a later video. I believe it's in the late 60s, maybe 70s, something like that. I believe this car will make a nice one for somebody. Now this old paint, you can just scratch it up with your fingernail. Let me see here. Paint just scratches right off of it. Probably what I'll do, I'll just uh, get it in primer, put another engine in it, get it running. In a later video, I'll show you how I, I strip these, uh, strip the paint off these cars before I paint them. And I'll show you a 1960 Corvette that I, that I, uh, that I have painted. Body still off the frame on it, but I'll show you in a later video. Well, thank you for watching the Hillbilly Hoarder. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you again, and hope you have a nice day.